Ah, the 1980s, the golden decade for slasher films. From masked killers to twist endings that leave you slack-jawed, these films have carved out a bloody legacy. Based on votes from Reddit and IMDb, here's a countdown of the top 10 slasher spoiler endings from 1980 to 1989. Beware, spoilers ahead. 10. The Prowler, 1981 Spoiler, after a series of brutal murders committed by a masked figure, the killer is revealed to be the town sheriff, George Fraser. Just as Pam thinks she's safe, a final scare moment has her attacked by her friend Carl in a dream sequence, an eerie cherry on top of an already unsettling finale. The slow burn buildup to this shocker isn't universally loved, but for some, it's the unpredictability that makes it a classic. 9. Pieces, 1982 Spoiler asterisk, what makes Pieces stand out is its pure madness, particularly the ending. After the chainsaw-wielding killer is stopped, the movie throws one final curveball. Reanimated corpse bursts out of a closet and tears the crotch off the protagonist. This WTF moment left viewers both bewildered and amused, making it a cult favorite. Fans love how Pieces fully embraces the absurd, securing its spot on this list for its What Did I Just Watch? ending. 8. Sleepaway Camp, 1983 Spoiler asterisk arguably one of the most infamous endings in slasher history, Angela Baker is revealed not only as the killer, but also as biologically male. The image of her standing with a grotesque snarl while holding a severed head is both haunting and unforgettable. This twist still sparks debates about its shocking and disturbing portrayal of gender. It's a divisive finale, but there's no denying that this twist cemented Sleepaway Camp as an enduring cult classic. 7. Prom Night, 1980 Spoiler! The killer turns out to be Alex Hammond, the brother of one of the girls who accidentally killed Robin, his younger sister. After a night of terror, Alex's death is accompanied by a tragic scene where his sister Kim, Jamie Lee Curtis, cradles him as he succumbs to his wounds. Although not the most complex twist, the emotional weight of this ending stands out and adds layers of sorrow to the slasher formula. 6. The Burning, 1981 Spoiler! Cropsy, the summer camp's deformed caretaker, gets his fiery comeuppance at the hands of one of the campers he terrorized. The final showdown ends with Cropsy being burned alive, again, by his would-be victims. The ending perfectly bookends the campfire horror tale that kickstarts the movie. While predictable, the execution of this conclusion solidified Cropsy's place in slasher villain history. They say he smashed his way through the bunk room door, just a mass of flames. Burned alive! Cried out! I will return! If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 5. Friday the 13th, 1980 Spoiler The reveal of Mrs. Voorhees as the killer rather than her son Jason was an iconic moment. After Alice beheads Mrs. Voorhees, she relaxes in a canoe on the lake, only for Jason's decayed body to emerge from the water and pull her under in a dream sequence. The ambiguous ending left audiences wondering if Jason was real or just a manifestation of guilt. This surprise ending set the stage for one of the most successful horror franchises of all time. 4. April Fool's Day, 1986 Just when you think you're in for a traditional slasher, it's revealed that none of the killings were real. It was all an elaborate prank orchestrated by Muffy St. John, who wanted to open a murder mystery retreat. This tongue-in-cheek conclusion makes April Fool's Day one of the most divisive yet clever slashers of its era. Some fans felt cheated, while others appreciated the film's playful subversion of slasher tropes. 3. My Bloody Valentine, 1981 The identity of the killer is revealed to be Axel, who witnessed his father being murdered by Harry Warden as a child. The ending sees Axel's arm trapped in rubble during the final confrontation, and in a deranged state, he escapes into the mines while laughing maniacally. This open-ended conclusion left a haunting impression on viewers. The claustrophobic tension of the minds and Axel's descent into madness earned this finale high praise from slasher enthusiasts. 2. A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984 Spoiler! After battling Freddy Krueger in her nightmares, 
Nancy seemingly defeats him by taking away his power through sheer will. But just when the audience breathes a sigh of relief, the final scene shows Nancy and her friends trapped in Freddy's clutches once again, hinting that the nightmare is far from over. The ambiguity of the ending and Freddy's seemingly eternal presence secured its place as one of the greatest slasher conclusions of the decade. 1. Friday the 13th, the final chapter, 1984. Spoiler. In one of the most iconic endings of the franchise, young Tommy Jarvis, having just witnessed the brutal slaying of his sister, shaves his head to resemble Jason and tricks him into vulnerability. After repeatedly stabbing Jason, the final shot shows Tommy staring at the camera with a menacing expression, hinting that he may have absorbed Jason's madness. This eerie, chilling conclusion left fans questioning Tommy's future and added a psychological twist to the slasher formula, earning it the top spot. Whether it's a shocking twist, a gut-wrenching tragedy, or an ambiguous final scene, the 1980s delivered some of the best slasher endings. These films define the genre with endings that ranged from absurd to downright terrifying, keeping horror fans on the edge of their seats and sometimes questioning their reality. Who's your daddy?